talk about a transformation. Yes, just two years after an old ship was sunk in Howe Sound to make an artificial reef, and divers are calling it a big success. Tonight, CTV Scott Hurst takes us underwater for a close-up look at a spectacular new tourist attraction. It may look out of this world. That is a really neat experience. But it's a lot closer than you think. We're very excited to see and monitor this as it's developing and growing. Growing at the bottom of Howe Sound, an old Canadian warship, now an artificial reef. It's gone from a bear vessel to a living, breathing ecosystem. At the helm of the top line, Kevin Breckman ferries divers to and from the wreck in Halkett Bay. And it was an immediate success. Like sunken treasure, it's been a lucrative endeavor for Sea Dragon charters. HMCS Annapolis began its final mission in April 2015. It took just two minutes to sink the decommissioned destroyer. The ships of this nature are tall, they're wide, they're complex, and they provide a pinnacle effect, an oasis in an otherwise barren area. In 18 months on the seafloor, divers have seen a bloom of marine life. On a dive, a deck can be covered with shrimp just scurrying all around. Now the Artificial Reef Society of BC is hoping to get an even better view of the wreck using this specialized sub, giving researchers a front row seat without getting wet. We can go down and we can spend two or three hours uh, looking at the vessels, looking at the structure of the vessels, how well are they holding up as, as marine habitat, what are we seeing in terms of marine diversity. Annapolis is the eighth artificial reef in BC. Uh, all levels of divers can actually dive it. A fleet that includes six other destroyers and a Boeing 737, giving new life to old vessels. Scott Hurst, CTV News, near Gambier Island.